mentioned at the beginning of the book that in 2016, when she anticipated that Hillary Clinton would be elected president, mm -hmm. that she was ready to give up as of the House. And the, the, uh, the rationalization she offered for staying on was that she was going to be there to face off with Donald Trump. Uh, and so she stayed. Um, and even then, not everybody believed completely that she was going to give up the speaker's gavel in 2016. So here we are, we're in 2020. We've now got a, a, a Democrat president. We have a woman vice president. So why is she still there? Why is she just there to make Joe Biden look young? <laughs> so uh, I think that she was sincerely making plans to step down in 2016 once Hillary Clinton won that election. Now, not everyone believes that, uh, and perhaps you're among the skeptics, even some people who work for her were skeptical of that, but I think she was ready uh, to step down and was making plans to do so, um, and decided to stay because she knew that she would bring a set of experiences and skills to standing up to Donald Trump that Democrats were gonna need. And even Democrats who opposed her election as speaker in 2016, acknowledged in 2018 that she had been uh, provided the kind of, of leadership that they needed against Donald Trump, uh, the most disruptive president in our history. And then she, I think she now has one more term as speaker, I'm pretty sure. I think that once again, she intends to step down after this term as speaker. But I would argue that she, and I think Democrats, most Democrats, not everyone, but most Democrats in the House would agree that her leadership at this moment has been important for passage of that big COVID relief bill, that huge COVID relief bill, and for the pending passage of that even bigger infrastructure bill at a time when the Democratic margin is so small, you can only lose two Democratic votes and get it through. But there is, you know, she's 81 years old. The three top leaders in the House are all in their 80s. There is, I think, an assumption that it is time for Democrats to move to a new generation of leadership when this Congress is over. Do you think when she uh, decides to stand down as speaker, then kind of the gloves will come off in the Democratic Party between the, the, the very progressive left and the more conservative Democrats? Has she been holding that together? Clive, that's such a good question because absolutely, I think we'll see, I, there's no obvious successor. There are a half dozen people uh, who credibly could seek the job and seem to be interested in it. And I think we are likely to see a candidate from the Democratic Center and a candidate from the Democratic left, from the squad wing of the party. Uh, and that, who wins a contest to lead the Democrats will tell us a lot about where the party is and where it's going. Hachette.